Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 41 and in this tutorial we are talking about using table elements. So you will notice that I have cleared most of the um, tags out of my body over here and we're working with basically the old template that we used to work with and I also have a blank CSS file. So just to let you guys know what we are working with uh, for this tutorial uh, let's get started. So the first thing I want to let you guys know about tables is that um, they were only added to CSS or <laughs> to HTML rather so that we as uh, web page designers or developers had some way of displaying data back to the user in a table like form so that the um, the users could actually read the data or see the data clearly and easily. Okay, but there are some designers that realized in 1997 when tables were uh, introduced into HTML that hey, a table can be used to lay out your web page because it consists of rows and columns, and that's exactly what we want our web pages to look like: rows and columns. Okay, so you will notice that um, there are a lot of older web pages out there or old web designers out there that, you know, obviously learned how to design web pages in the 90s or early 2000s that use tables to lay out their websites. And that is completely, completely wrong, guys. You guys should never use a table to lay out your web page. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know, know that now. <laughs> you know, before we even get started, but I do have tutorials on how to create a web page layout the proper way using uh, div tags and um, the section tags and all those new tags uh, are you, along with CSS, and you can create a web page that looks uh, you know, just as good, if not better. Okay, and that is the proper way to do things. So let's get started talking about tables now and. Um, let's actually add a table to our web page. So to do that, we're gonna open up a new tag, which is called, you guessed it, table. Okay, so go ahead and uh, close that off now. And now we have a table tag on our web page. Okay, so what do we do with this table now? Okay, and the first thing we're actually gonna wanna do is at least give the user some idea of what the information is going to be in this table. So in other words, we want to give our table uh, a caption. Okay, and we could do this by, you know, adding a um, heading tag outside of our table, but you guys already know how to do that. And instead, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to use a new tag in um, tables, which is called caption. And we're gonna go ahead and end that caption tag off over there. And what this caption tag does is allow us to um, basically make a heading or a, I don't wanna say heading, but a caption of what information is gonna be displayed in our table, okay? And a caption tag can only be used inside of a table. So don't use it outside the table because that's not proper use, but inside the table is fine. Okay, so let's go ahead now and actually um, give this table a caption and I'm going to create a table that contains the best selling games worldwide. So let's go ahead and actually make that the caption. Best selling games worldwide and this is actually according to Wikipedia. So that is where I got my information from to Wikipedia just like that. Uh, you know, not that it's reliable or anything, but I just, uh, you know, I needed some data to actually fill a table with, so that's where I got it from. Okay, and now we can go ahead and actually give our table some columns, because you guys know that a table consists of rows and columns. So the first thing we have to do is actually make a row, and to do that, we're going to use a tag called TR, and that um, stands for table row. So table row and ending table row. Now we have one row in our table. So 
we can go ahead and actually uh, add some columns now. And the funny thing about tables is that we don't actually have a way to make a column, okay? But we can make a table cell. So in other words, row one, block one, that actual cell we can uh, make. Okay, and to do that, we can go ahead and use a tag called TD and ending TD, and that stands for table data. And another way we can actually make a table cell is to also use a tag called TH. Okay, and TH stands for table header, so this will actually just be the header of the table. Okay, and the first uh, column that I want in our table is going to be rank. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a rank. Then we can actually duplicate this line by pressing Control D. And I'm going to give the second uh, column a title of uh, title. <laughs> and that is going to be the title or the game's title that is sold worldwide. Okay, and then we're just going to make um, one called release year which is the year that the game was released and then we'll also make another column for copies sold so how many copies were sold uh, worldwide okay and if we go ahead and save this and run this in Firefox we should start seeing our table appear so uh, right here we've got our caption best selling games worldwide according to Wikipedia then we've got our rank, title, release year, and copies sold. But this doesn't look very clear now, does it? Because we've got these headings over here, and we've got this caption, but we don't actually have any little borders uh, to represent a cell. So uh, we can go ahead and fix that up uh, by putting a border in our table. So we could go ahead and give this attribute an attribute of border and set that equal to uh, one okay and if we save that now and click refresh we now have uh, some borders appearing and that doesn't look very nice but I'm going to save all the uh, niceties or <laughs> all the CSS for this table for another tutorial so we will uh, get back to that in the next tutorial but for now let's go ahead and actually add some data to this table so uh, I need to create a new row, so uh, TR and ending TR, and now we can go ahead and actually fill our row with some data. So the first thing we have to do is create or uh, give this table data a rank, okay? So uh, table data is going to be our first cell, and the rank is obviously going to be 1 because this is our first uh actual um, game that we're putting in here so it's going to be the one that's ranked at the top okay then we're going to create another table data and to be honest I think we should just duplicate this a couple times so uh, four okay that's fine so the title of the best-selling game worldwide funny enough is uh, Tetris and that was released in 19 84 and this is according to uh, Wikipedia so you yeah. uh, know and it sold 143 million copies worldwide which is an insane amount of copies believe it or not okay so now we can go ahead and create our second row so uh, TR and ending TR and I'm just going to actually copy all of this I should have copied the row as well, but hey. Okay, now the next game is the number two most sold game in the world. And believe it or not, that is actually Wii Sports. I didn't believe that because I didn't think that Wii Sports was that popular. And it was released in 2006. And it has sold 81 million or 81.99 million copies. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this right there and refresh this in Firefox and you can see we now have a table that actually looks like a table. Okay, so we've got uh, our caption, 
then we've got our table headers over here and then we are also displaying our table data out just like this and uh, this tutorial is actually getting kinda long so I think we'll go ahead and add maybe another two more uh, columns into this table or two more rows into this table and then we'll just end it, the tutorial there so the third most <laughs> selling game in the world uh, you know which I find to be quite crazy is actually Minecraft and that is super insane because <laughs> it really isn't the best game in the world or most fun game in the world but you know if you guys play Minecraft I'm sorry to offend you but <laughs> I have also played Minecraft I've bought it and it's cool but not that cool okay so 49.5 million copies of Minecraft sold worldwide and let's go ahead and add the fourth most game fourth most sold game in the world and that happens to be Super Mario Brothers and that I can believe because Super Mario Brothers was really popular and that was released in 1985 and that has sold 35.53 uh, million copies which is crazy but let's go ahead now and refresh this and there we go that is our table um, and we've got a few more rows in there uh, so basically that is how you create a table in HTML and as always guys don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time